Hello YouTubers, UXO back with my floor rental, part 6. So the floor is all prepped, and I laid down some of the plank flooring that I got just to get the pattern that I want, and, s and the layout, because as you can see there's multiple colors in it, it's sort of like a barn board look. There's 7 by 32 inch floor planks, and they're, uh, the edges of them are beveled inward so that when you li they line up easier. And it's a vinyl glue on that I got the glue. So what I did was I I marked the center of the trailer line, which is here. And then I went three inches over so I could start with a full plank and then snap the chalk line all the way up. So they're just laid down there just to get the look at the uh, the look of them, like I said. So I removed the uh, end up removing the toilet because I want to do around it. It's quite easy. A couple of screws and then disconnect the water line. And back here, this piece of cornering was along the back with carpet on it. And I don't know why they would put carpet in the bathroom for backs for splashing. So I took the carpet all off, took it out, uh, foam filled the holes in the wall because I guess there was mice in here before and I could see some mouse dropping. So I foam filled that. So I'm going to put it back in. After I do the flooring past where it was, so I'm going to stop the flooring like somewhere's there and then put that back in and then actually tile all that so that it'd be easier to wash in here. That's just the access to the, the sink or the tub. There was a little bit of water down in there, so I think maybe one of the fixtures are leaking. So once I uh, finish this, I'll do a water test and see if it's leaking and then, of course, repair that. There's no damage, there's no rot or anything, but there's a little bit of water in the insulation that I removed. So I sanded the floor completely. I removed the center vent for this little trailer. There was three of them and uh, the wife didn't like that. So I removed it, patched it, and then of course leveled it off with the floor leveler. And then over by the uh, furnace itself, when they cut the floor, they cut it too big and there was a piece that was exposed so when the furnace came on all it doing was blowing air underneath the dinette seat and not forcing it through the ductwork so I did a little bit of a patch job with some tin I had lying around and the, the dinette stops about here so that I'm not even doing that part with the flooring so I'm not going to see it. So my next step is I'm going to do this section that I have the floor in so I'm going to lay down the glue and it's got to set for about 15 minutes till it gets tacky. And then I'm going to start laying the planks down from my center mark back towards the wall. And then for in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop after this plank for now. And then carry on. And I'm going to continue on right down to roughly about here where a plank ends. And that's the section I'm going to do today. So once I get going... Uh, you'll be I'll bring be back with you and uh, we'll see what's going on I completed in the stop and taking out the video it turned out pretty damn good I gotta say I put the new floor registers in and here's a good shot of the whole floor I also put some of the molding in around you can see around the base of the bed I put some uh, corner molding and then in the bathroom I was talking about that panel piece in the back how I uh, used the flooring and covered it. It looks a lot better now. So this is uh, was a little bit of work, but its floor is completely done now. It's the glue works really well as long as you leave it dry about 15 minutes before you apply the tiles. And then use a 100 pound roller to roll out the air bubbles. So that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned for part seven. Remember to uh, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.